Let's take a look at what Bentley has to offer electrical engineers in regards to BIM. Bentley has been around for quite a while. In the 80s and 90s, they had the MicroStation CAD platform. It was an alternative to AutoCAD. It was pretty much the second place uh, CAD system at the time. It was used in a lot of government projects. So if you were working with the uh, Corps of Engineers or Departments of Transportation, you would have to use MicroStation. So there are a lot of firms that specialize in MicroStation for those government projects. Other people used AutoCAD. Since then, in the same way as Autodesk, they have expanded their offerings to include more pieces of software, including notably in 2023, they actually acquired EasyPower, which is a bit of an odd acquisition for them. But uh, for electrical engineers using EasyPower, that's actually owned by Bentley at this point. In terms of BIM software, they have a program called Open Buildings Designer. I assume it's their competitor to Revit. Let's take a look at how it scores on the electrical engineering BIM scorecard. First question we ask is, does engineering exist? And yes, it does. If you take a look at their website, they have a tab on building design. You scroll down and there's a number of different engineering disciplines listed. Looking into those disciplines, the next two questions are, does MEP exist and does electrical exist? It actually calls out structural engineering, mechanical engineering, and electrical engineering. So it does call out electrical engineering as its own specific discipline. So they're talking about what electrical engineers do. And they have two programs listed under there. One is Open Buildings Designer and the other is Easy Power. So the next question is, can you insert electrical devices? And yes, you can. If you look in the user manual, they have an electrical tab which talks about inserting electrical devices. So you can do that. I pulled up some videos that they have online to see what kind of stuff you can do. And they've got a series of three playlists. The first playlist is a seven video series. Uh, and the first six videos in their electrical systems are all talking about setting up your project and how to get your model and your, your building configured and how to get your spaces set up. It isn't until video seven that they start talking about inserting electrical distribution panels. So they can insert panels and insert devices. Though watching that video, they go to insert a panel and they take like four minutes to get into the part where they're actually gonna insert the panel. And then they finally go to insert the panel and you're selecting the type of panel that you're gonna insert. And what are the things that you're specifying on this panel? You're specifying the size, is it a 20 inch? Uh, tall panel? Is it you know, 24? Is it 36? Is it 42 inches? And then how far off the floor is it? Is it 36 inches? Uh, I think this is to the bottom of the panel. Is it, you know, 48 inches? Important physical information, but not actually what you care about as an electrical engineer. No mention of, you know, the panel voltage. No mention of the actual panel size, the bus size of that panel. So it's not looking great in terms of this being actually a tool that you can use to really elevate your electrical design beyond the standard CAD. The next question is, can you do a panel schedule? And I searched, I looked at those two other playlists, I searched online, I couldn't find anything talking about panel schedules. It doesn't look like they're there. I might've missed it, but it's not obvious. It's not uh, coming up on any of the searches. So it's not something they're really emphasizing. We can take a look at the next question and see if maybe I missed it. The next question is, can you do a voltage drop calculation? Again, nothing on the web about doing voltage drop calculations in open building designer. So it doesn't look like they can do any of that. So they're going to top out at a score of four. It's essentially a replacement for AutoCAD or MicroStation. You can lay out your buildings. Uh, you can put your panels, you can put your receptacles and light fixtures in, but really not anything else. All your calculations are still going to be done in Excel or whatever other calculation package you've been using.